quite a little bit of video. Let's get it off soon in a minute. Sony's having a rest now. Basically, I just came off the top on a very, very precarious, very steep, very slippery, dry stone. And that's someone coming by. Oh yeah. Yeah, that was that didn't do my knee any good at all that but there because to stop myself sliding about I had to really use my knee. And I haven't had to do anything like that today. Up until then. Anyway, we're going we're in Holford Coombe. Holford Coombe, going that way, leads to Ladies Coombe, and you can go to the Hill Fort that way. You can go to wherever you want. Truscombe, Crocombe. This way leads you to Holford. The old mill here. The Huguenots were here. And we're not far from Holford Green now, where I'm going to have a very... Probably not rapido, but if, it, if, it, if there's nowhere to sit, I won't be able to have my picnic on the green. But um, this is a little bit of a walk yet, not too much. But uh, there must be, all I know, there must be another way down from there without having to come where I did. I expect those people that were ahead of me knew the way. <laughs> well, you don't have to. Risk your life coming down a scriddy, slippery, dry stone pathway. <sighs> so anyway, I'm using I'm using um, Kodak to do a little bit of jumpy video recording. Like I said, it didn't do my knee any favours. That it was all right, and now it's I can, I'm aware of it now. I have been aware of it all the time, but that yet didn't like that. Oh, it did not like it. Some lovely little flowers here, isn't there? Look at that one there. It's like a daffodil without the white bits. A very large buttercup. I reckon you can come down somewhere around here. Bit of a concealed area with a big quarry look. Yeah, it's not signposted. Yeah, this is a little quiet Holford, the top end. There's other areas I haven't really explored properly yet. And there should be a turning somewhere where I can turn up to get to the Holford Green quicker than going all the way down and round. Although there ain't much in it really. It might be easier just to keep on the road, you know. It's not um, clambering about now. You've got some clambering to do the last stages of the walk when you've got to go up Lady's Edge. Shepherd's Coombe, I mean. This is when you could do with a real nice pint of lager. Except I'm not into lager, but um, I used to be. No, I haven't gone right off lager for years now. Uh, I like Prosecco, actually. Uh, I do like it. Right, I'm going to turn off the video. It's Holford Green. I've just had a picnic on that bench, just a small one. Just cheese and tomato. And a drink, that's all. I'll keep the rest for a bit later on. I'm just nibbling, really. Lovely with the blossom out, isn't it? So, bye, Holford Green. Just a quick visit. Many memories here. Many memories of Park and Alberta over there as well. And this cottage has always been here. 
taking some shots of it. Yeah, this has been here for years, this one. I don't know if it's going to be chilly going up the coombe. Sometimes it can be when the sun goes in. I think I'll put that camera over the other side. Wait a minute. So there we go. Just a little video of the green. Come here for years since childhood. I've grown up and many memories there. Many memories. Now I'm going to make my way a gentle walk back. This is the big turn back now. Although it's not as big, we've done the We've done the big piece of it. This will be straightforward, just going straight up the coom and then cross some streams, up Shepherd's Coom, up to Bicknoller Post, and down today. I'm hoping to go down Bicknoller Coom. Might see some deer on the way back. So it's about two o'clock. Um, we should get one. We should get a bus. We shouldn't. I'm allowing four hours to get back, but basically, it's not a race. So I don't know. It could take me four hours. It's my knees playing up a bit. I don't know yet. I just thought I'd video a bit with the Kodak and then um, Sony's got a new battery put in yeah Sony's got a new battery and um, I've, I will be videoing and taking photographs as I come up to the fords and the streams. Um, this bit is a little bit of um, not a drudge, but it's quite a long walk just to get into the into the coombs, if you know what I mean. And it does seem weird doing it in reverse because for years and years, most of the time. 90% of the time I was coming the other way in order to go home. Right, over and out. That'll do. You don't want it too jumpy for longer. long, you'll get bored. I was just saying that um, when I'm here, this particular part of the whole walk really, when I'm in Holford Coombs, Holford Glen, oh, I'll just coom. It brings out the child in me. I go back to child, being a child when I used to come out here when I was six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I even brought Zara up here when she was a baby. The friend we came up here, she, he carried her quite a lot. We brought Zara up on the contox when she was about nine months old. It was just before I left to go and live in Reading. So she's been introduced to this beautiful place as a young child, baby. And I used to bring them, we used to come up here a lot. I brought my husband, my small kids when they were small, mainly. I've been up here a couple of times with Georgia and a couple of times with her kids. They're all grown up now. I've got one of them will be 16 next week, and then six weeks later another one will be 16, and my grandson will be 18. And who else is there? Oh yeah, and there's two others, their birthdays are later on. One will be 19, and one will be, I think, 26. I think. Um... Let me 
say. Um, oh, I don't know. I can't. Know. I think she would be 26 anyway. Yeah, because she was 25 last year. Yeah, that's right. We class that as a special birthday when you're 25. Yes, that's right. And they had COVID. My granddaughter had COVID. I, we didn't know. I'd been to the barbecue as well. But um, I didn't get it. Or if I did, I didn't get, get it too bad. So anyway, here we are. We're getting closer, I can hear the stream, but it just reminds me, this is me throughout the ages. There was long gaps where I didn't come out though, when I didn't live here, around here. When I lived in Berkshire, when I lived in Devon, when I lived in Sussex, when I lived in Cumbria. There were big gaps in my life where I never came out. And uh, I made up for it since. Quantox common, Quantox common, special scientific interest or something like that. Yeah, I'm just trying out the, uh, there's a wigwam up there on the, on the hill, look. That's been a yurt, I think they call it. A yurt. They put it up in the summer, in the better weather, and they take it down. I just let they hire it out to people. People who love being out here. And here we are, folks. This is my place I've been coming since childhood. I've told people loads and loads and loads and loads of times. But some of the trees here have seen me grow and now I'm withering because of old age and they say, what's wrong with your knee, Sheila? I'm getting old, Mr. Tree, just like you. Oh, you know, I can remember when you were a little sprinkling. Yep, I was. Full of energy as a child springing along up here, full of the joys of childhood. I fell in love with this place when I was a very, very small child. I've told people loads of times. It is a bit repetitive for others listening, but I like to reflect on it. I just love it up here, basically. I'm going to try and swap cameras for video and let the Sony take over when I get up here a bit further. Once I get to the streams proper, I'm hoping Sony will work again. It can be very, very stubborn. See people coming. They look like the same people that I met earlier in the walk. Maybe they stopped for tea somewhere and now they're coming up here. I didn't have a lot to eat because I knew I'd get indigestion. I just had, um, yes they are coming this way. I had um, a nice piece of cheese, extra mature, and I had two lovely tomatoes. And I thought, well, that'd do for now, because I've already had a cake. I've still got a chocolate cake to eat. <sighs> Yogurt bars. Oat bars. I always pack enough, just in case. <sighs> yeah, it looks like the same people coming this way. I reckon they stopped for tea at the other place. <sighs> and they're going back to their car at the top. Funny it can happen, isn't it? Right, turning off 